At the beginning, you know, it's very hard. You come to Denmark, to the, to the university in Denmark, in Denmark, and you, you barely know anyone. You are lucky if you're living in a dorm, then you can know people maybe from your own country and meet new people. But the mo most important thing is that uh, you get to know people from your group work and uh, through that you go to the parties with them, you meet new people and you go on like that. <laughs> you feel that it's, it's a capital, not some small town in the middle of the Denmark compared with my country. It's very alive. At night you can see a lot of people, a lot of youth. There's a lot of events also for international you can find. You can go also to a lot of museums they have movie nights in summer and you can also go to the beach, there is a beach there. You can apply for a dorm accommodation in Copenhagen and you're in the waiting list and then you wait. Then you can go to web pages like DBA or Bali Portal and find an apartment. It's probably faster than to get a dorm but it's more expensive and you have to be very cautious. I hear a lot of people having problems to get a, a place to live. They find eventually. Maybe not what they wanted, but they find <laughs> something. <laughs> it's very safe compared, well, with my country. You're walking out in the street and you get picked on. And here it's not like that. Like nobody cares how you look and what you're thinking. It's like minding your own business and that's very nice. Of course it's expensive, but when you have a job, so it's, it settles, you know, like normal level. And I managed to find a well-known stores that they're very cheap, like Aldi and Netto. You can get basically everything there, what you need to live.